Good morning. Uh, we haven't vlogged in like a month and a half. <laughs> uh, we'll um, we'll kind of talk later about why and updates from the last like month and a half because it's been about that long. Definitely over a little over a month. Um, but I just woke up. It is currently 8:34. I think that's a minute behind, so it might be like 8:35 by now. But we're making breakfast. I just have some like frozen hash browns in a pan. I cook them for like a minute with the lid on with a little bit of water to kind of like steam them first. And then now they're kind of just getting all nice and delicious and brown. And we're just making some breakfast. We've been having, oh, I'm referring to myself that way, like that. I've been having just frozen waffles this week for work. Um, but since I knew I was gonna be waking up earlier on Friday because I was gonna be vlogging, that I would instead make breakfast today because why not? But it is Friday, August 23rd. Woohoo! Oh, big yawn. We also have the baby here. <laughs> uh, she is very tired. She is not a morning dog. She um, would definitely sleep in if she could. I mean, she does after she wakes up, she sleeps. But I got this new throw blanket for the couch because I'm trying to use my sofa more. For those that don't know, my sofa is super like stiff, so I never use it. I've had it for like two years now at this point. I used it when I first got it, but it was like hurting my back here and there because it's so stiff. So I bought um, an extra blanket. Oh, big yawn again. I bought an extra blanket to see if that would help. And then I also got this cute little TV stand for like eating because I don't have a dining table and I usually just eat in my room, if I'm being honest, or my desk if I'm um, working that day, or if I'm gaming, I'll eat at the other desk, but, um, I want to start using this room more, and the sofa more, so I thought maybe a nice cozy blanket would help. Okay, I made the scrambled eggs, and I already had some bacon that I cooked last night for dinner, because I knew I was going to use it this morning, and I knew it would just be easier if I pre-cooked it last night, so now I have it sitting with the cheese that's melting on the eggs, the potatoes I definitely could have cooked a little bit longer. I do like mine a little bit more brown than this, but I was feeling a little lazy. <laughs> kind of hungry. And they are cooked enough, so, but I definitely like mine a little bit more brown. But we're basically just waiting for the cheese to melt. We did, in fact, pay our cheese tax to the dog. My allergies are also really bad this morning, so if I sound super nasally, it's because I am. Oh, the, uh, ice machine just kicked on. In case you're wondering, I still absolutely love this thing. Um, I have it set, oh, it's like turning funny. I have it set to make water or to make ice from I think 7 a.m. to 8. So I have a little bit in the morning for my like drink, beverage that I drink right when I wake up. And then when I take my break around like 11, between like 11 and 12 or whenever, 10 30 to basically whenever I go to make my coffee, there's a bunch of water in here or, or a bunch of ice in here. So yeah, I love this thing. It, best purchase ever. And with like that, breakfast is done. So it's hash browns on the bottom. And then scrambled eggs with cheese and bacon. And then of course ketchup. I'm a ketchup with my eggs kind of girly. But only if they're scrambled eggs. But let me show you the office. Because we're going to basically eat in our work office before we um, start work. And show you the new additions to the office since I last vlogged. Okay, now we're in the office. So I got a new one of these little steam deck, stream deck little plate things. Um, so I ordered one that was in the purple color because if you saw in the last vlog, I was like contemplating, like kind of regretting painting the one that I had, da, 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 da. And a lot of you were like, oh no, it looks really nice. And I thought it looked really nice too. What I regretted was doing the matte finish on it because that ended up giving it this weird texture. So I ended up ordering one from Australia actually that was in the purple color, but I still really liked this like violet, like lavender color that I made that has kind of like areas where it's like a slightly different color. Like it kind of creates this like little like ombre purple galaxy thing. So I was like, you know what, screw it. So I ended up painting the one that I bought. This one does fit a little bit more snug than the other one. This one doesn't have like tape with it like the other one did. It like fits around the stream deck where the other one kind of just like sat on top of it so i do like this one a little bit better although I, I liked the other one too um but yeah so i ended up painting that and then i had like a phone stand oh, my phone has hair on it from my dog 
but um I didn't like that I couldn't put anything else in it so I got this like elephant little stand thing but you can like put your phone on it and I painted it but this side ended up coming out with this weird texture and I don't know why um so I might try and strip the paint and repaint it or might just buy a new one and paint it but I did the same uh, lavender spray paint that I bought and I basically have this is the remote to my Dyson fan that I keep in here we have two little lip balms um, we have an elf one and then I have an extra coaster because I have one under my drink but when I make my coffee I grab the coaster and then I have these really cute uh, flower hair clip in case I need it for anything and I just really like this because my phone sits in here and then I put these like these little i guess they're for like flowers or you can do them for fish tanks or whatever like whatever you want to use them for i put these in the bottom and they're purple because i don't know why well you can see them because when i would take my phone off this thing it the phone was so heavy compared to the actual like stand the, the whole thing was like moving and like falling over so i put those in there to weigh it down so that um when i took my phone off the thing stayed but i think it's perfect and it kind of works out too because like i can kind of like if i put stuff in here i can kind of it kind of sits a little bit nicer because it has all the little like bead things at the bottom but i really like it and then i don't think i changed anything else everything else is pretty much the same over here here's my setup in case you haven't seen it in a while and then we have this desk over here which basically becomes my pile everything on it desk so i don't have to keep it on my main desk <laughs> but actually this arrived yesterday this is a treat container so we have some treats in there for piper i got um some like monitor cleaner i use that to clean my glasses too it's really nice we got like camera equipment we got more camera stuff these are my childhood stuffed animals um my mom gave them to me a couple weeks ago so i put them <laughs> in here and uh yeah, we kind of, I still need to like organize the stuff over here. I think I want to buy like a different, like I have that one and that one and and that one. I originally had that on my main desk, but I didn't like it. So I put it back, so I just put it over here. But I definitely want to get some sort of like new organizer for that stuff over there. But I haven't decided yet. But that's, this is how the office is looking. We got like some Discord stuff up there. In case you can't tell, I work at Discord. In case you can't tell by all the Discord stuff. <laughs> Um, and then of course we have Wampus on my microphone, which makes me so happy, especially if I'm ever in a meeting and I turn my camera on, people can see Wampus just chill in there and I, it makes me so happy. And then we still have our Stanley. I did buy a new one because I accidentally scratched the other one and it was bothering me so much. So I ended up buying a new one. Piper is also scratching herself in case you can hear her making a lot of noise, but I'm going to eat my breakfast. We have to start work here in a few minutes. I have, um three meetings today so it's not too bad but they're much later in the day so i will see you all during my lunch break and we'll definitely talk about everything that's been going on over the last month um and some other new goodies that i bought and yeah let me let me eat my delicious breakfast i think it i think it turned out pretty good i do need to fix all those cables under there I bought like cable organizer stuff, but I'm not like 100% into them, so I don't know. I need to I need to figure it out, but we'll we'll get to those later, I guess. That's all right. I'm on my first break, making my coffee. I have a double shot of espresso here with some oat milk in it, and then we have our dog mom glass with all of our nugget ice. I'm basically going to mix that into there, add maybe a little bit more oat milk, and add some caramel creamer. This is the Caramel, this is the caramel creamer that I use in case anyone's curious. All right, hello. I don't know where the tripod is, like the little one for this camera. Um, so we'll just have to hold it by our hand and that's okay. Um, oh. I'm still feeling a little allergy-y this morning. You can also probably hear my air purifier going on in the background. For those that don't know, I had an allergy test done in December of last year. And it turns out I'm allergic to nature as well as animals, so... Some mornings we cannot breathe very well. And I do take allergy medicine, so it's real fun, real fun. Um, but it rained yesterday, so that usually makes it a little bit worse. Because I get like I'm allergic to like all types of pollen, like grass, trees, and weeds. Mm, fun. Um, so I think usually when it rains, it like you would think it would wash it away, but I think it just kinda like takes it all out of the trees and everything and like makes it on the ground and Anyway, <laughs> I'm currently on a break. I'm wearing a, um, 
we have, you can't even see it, we have our um, Yellowstone shirt on. I haven't watched the show in a while, so I need to watch the last season, but um, the shirt's very comfortable. I will be honest, um, I was going to put makeup on, and I was like, would you normally put makeup on unless you were vlogging? And I was like, no, so I'm not putting it on. So this is like a real vlog. The only thing I did change is I did put this shirt on. I'm going to be honest, I, sleep, I like wear a tank top all day. I live in Florida, it's hot but i can't film in a tank top because it looks like i'm naked so we had to put a shirt on <laughs> so i'm literally gonna take the shirt off i have a tank top on underneath so behind the scenes but i checked and i haven't actually vlogged in two months my last vlog was june so here's what happened i have to blow my nose first hold on <laughs> so here's what happened last vlog was in june and then i was going to actually film a vlog the weekend of july 4th if you know, you know. So July 3rd, Piper got out. Somehow the fence got opened either by her, a cat, or like I have like a little um, like additional fence in front of it, like a plastic fence from like what she used to be kenneled in as a puppy, um, or like her little pay playpen. And I think it bumped it. Now I know how to fully lock the, lock the gate so it won't happen again. And I was getting ready for stream. I heard Piper barking. I went to check on her and there was a cat on top of the fence that Piper was barking at her. I noticed the fence was opened just like a little, like literally not that much. And I tried to close it. And when I went to try and close it, the cat ran and Piper chased her. I chased Piper. Um, I didn't grab shoes. I didn't grab a leash. I didn't grab my keys. I didn't grab my phone. Why I didn't do any of that? I don't know. Um, long story short, Piper almost made it to the main road. I've never been more panicked in my life. Thankfully, some very nice people. I was actually running back home to go get my car because I knew... I wouldn't be able to get her if she made it to the road. Um, thank God, thank the universe, thank whatever you want to thank. Um, three different cars stopped, and I was yell. I realized it, and I was yelling, "Her name is Piper. She's friendly. Her name is Piper. She's friendly." Thank goodness, Piper's friendly. Um, and this guy was able to go up to her and grab her by the collar, and I ran and grabbed her. Another woman was like, "Would you like a slip lead?" I should have taken the slip lead. I was like, "No, I'm okay." I had to carry her by her collar <laughs> all the way back home. And when we got home, there was ducks. That's originally why I went to go see what she was barking at, in case ducks got in the backyard. We've had a lot of ducks in our neighborhood because a lot of my neighbors feed the cats, and the ducks also want to eat the cat food, which is fine, whatever. And turns out Piper's afraid of the ducks because when we they were in her front yard and when we got back home she went she stopped she wouldn't move so I had to pick her up carry her the rest of the way put her in the house locked the door or shut the door I didn't lock it and then closed the gate and thankfully my friend came over the next day she brought me some ointment which I'll get into for a second um she brought me some ointment and she showed me how to lock the gate so shout out to my friend Marie who's also probably watching this video so I got home Piper and I both are just like, because, <gasps> you know, we were running. <laughs> I am very out of shape in case it wasn't completely obvious. And, you know, I'm drinking water. I call my mom and let her know. I'm, and I'm like, obviously, I'm like breathing heavy because I was just running after a three-year-old husky that can definitely run a lot faster than I can. And I had no shoes on. And that's important. I had no shoes on. And it has been, we've had a heat index most days of 110. I'll pause for dramatics. My feet were very, very burned. Um, I had blood blisters on both of my feet. Um, and thankfully, we had the fourth off and the fifth off from work. And I took that Monday off. But my plan was to basically deep clean the entire house that weekend, like floor to ceiling. Well, okay, I can't reach completely the ceiling, but pretty much. And then clean everything and then vlog maybe that next weekend if I didn't vlog that weekend. I couldn't walk. That's how bad it was. Um, thankfully, my feet are okay. Piper's okay. I started, it kind of made me realize that um, I never recall trained her and that's my fault. She will respond just fine if we're home or at my mom's house and I call her, she immediately comes, no questions asked. But if there's a distraction element in the mix, she does not. And that's 100% my fault. I don't blame my dog at all. That's on me purely on me so I reached out to a trainer that a friend recommended and he's had two, two training sessions with her and it's gone so well he was so surprised that she wouldn't take treats um but she's been doing great we've been um kind of starting the recall training we're kind of focusing as well on place which is where they have a designated area in the house that they must go to when you ask them to she's been doing great with that had my mom come over last sunday to kind of test it she did get up when she saw my mom which was fine i kind of pictured her running up to him going nana because she was so excited to see my mom but corrected the behavior made her go back to place made her wait and 
She's been doing great with it. And we also started uh, leash training as well because I asked him about that. So our next session, we had a last session, I think, obviously not this Friday, but like two Fridays ago. And so we're going to do another one um, probably in like another week or so. I'll probably text him and ask because he talked about meeting at a park, but he basically said she needs to get the leash training and at least the place training done first and then it'll be a lot easier to recall trainer so we've been doing that it's been going well and then it was and then after that like after my feet healed and stuff it was like oh i'm gonna vlog today oh no we have the training today i'm gonna start work later maybe i just shouldn't and then it was like okay i'll vlog this day and then <laughs> um i got a notice from the place that i rent from i rent from a company or in a house and I guess for their inspections, you basically just download an app and take photos of the entire place. Well, obviously, I'm not going to take photos of the place when it looks, you know, it's not dirty, but like it could be nicer. So I basically deep cleaned the house anyway um, and did all those photos. So now my house is like super clean, <laughs> which is great. And then I was like, you know what? Just vlog. Just just do it. So we're doing it today. Hello. <laughs> um, but I need to go back to work because my break's almost over here in like 30 seconds and we're gonna drink our coffee, we're gonna drink our water. My first meeting isn't until like 1 p.m. So I still got like an hour and a half, so I'm gonna get some stuff done. And then I have like two meetings in a row, which is fine, and then lunch. So, and then on lunch, I'll show you some things I bought. I'll give you some spoilers. I bought a sound bar for the TV in the bedroom. I love it so much, I'm gonna get one for the living room. And then I bought, I bought a Steam Deck which has been fun. Piper's also bringing an elephant. I can't play, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can show you her. Here, do you want to show them your elephant? Do you want to show them your elephant? But I gotta go back to work. I'll give you like a treat or something. Is that sufficient? Yeah, I think you'd be okay with that. But yeah, life's been good but interesting. Right, Piper? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back to work. It is lunchtime, and this is what I'm eating. It's a Cajun sausage rice skillet or something like that. Um, it's very good. I got the recipe from Budget Bites. I made it a couple times. I do a little bit of different stuff to it. I also drizzle a tiny bit of honey on it. One, because it's local honey, and two, I like the sweet and spicy flavor. I just think it's delicious, but local honey is really good for allergies. And since my allergies are kicking my ass today, <laughs> that's why I also put honey on it. But I'm literally just going to eat it out of this container, but I made it last night. But it's really good. It has rice, and we have some turkey sausage, and we have peppers. We have red, orange, and yellow peppers, some onion, and it has like Cajun seasoning, and salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, like all that stuff, and some cayenne. And it is so good. It's so easy to make. Uh, I'll link the recipe in case anyone wants to try it, but it's really good. All right, during my lunch break, an Ulta package arrived. I went ahead and opened it, but I'll show you everything I got. They had this Anastasia Beverly Hills thing on sale. I wanted to get just the brow pen, but I really wanted, or yeah, the brow, the brow whiz is so good. I originally just wanted to get that, but they had this whole little kit with um, mascara and stuff in here too, and some clear brow gel. So I thought I would get this to try. And then I got a blush stick from ColourPop. It's such a gorgeous color. I thought it was like a little bit more natural. I thought that would be good for my trip later in the year. They had skincare products on sale, and if you spent like 35 or 40 I forget, you got some free items, which I'll show you in a second. But I got a fragrance-free, alcohol-free toner. I've been wanting to start using a toner again. I got a brush, and I actually used this already, and I've this is my third time purchasing this, but it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Water Gel. I actually really do like this. Um, box is a little demolished, but that's why I got another one because it was on sale. And then I've been using this as my facial cleanser, so I went ahead and got another one. And then this is the free item that I got. So it's basically this cute little bag. I'm going to show you what's in it. So in the bag, so the bag came with the little like thing to put on your hair and the little like wristlets for when you're washing your face so it doesn't get all over the place and then just a little travel pack of makeup remover wipes so i might save this for my trip later in the year but i've always wanted to get one of these little headband things and the wrist thing so i was like oh okay let me just buy some skincare stuff that i planned on getting anyway and get some cool free stuff so we'll definitely use this tonight woohoo all right
right, let's finish our lunch break, but I'm going to show you some goodies that I recently bought. So I ordered a larger Kindle, as you can tell, but I it's a little heavier than I thought it would be. So I'm actually returning this tomorrow before I go grocery shopping. And I ended up purchasing a clear case for my current Kindle. because so I just wanted like the bigger screen, but it turns out I didn't like it. Um, and I got these like cute stickers so it says read more books books read good books drink good coffee and there's a cat some sunflowers and some of these are books I've read so I thought that would be cute to have it but and I'm just getting the clear case in this and I'm currently reading the shadows of the kingdom by Jen Blyton she's actually a friend I've known her for years and she released her first book last year and then this is the sequel to it and I really enjoyed it it's like fantasy romance type of like basically right up my alley so i've been enjoying it so i've been reading that on the kindle and then we also so i think i mentioned i got a sound bar that's the new sound bar that i have um i really like it i've been re-watching orphan black i watched the first three seasons back in 2016 before season four came out and then i wasn't able to catch season four because i don't think i had cable then and um, Orphan Black Echoes, which is a sequel, came out, and I started watching that, and then I realized I never finished the original. So we're rewatching season three, and then soon we'll be on the current season, but if you've never watched it, really, really incredible show, fantastic acting, 10 out of 10, you should watch it. Um, let me also show you The Sleepy Baby. This is pretty much what she does on my lunch break. She passes out on the bed. And usually after my lunch, I close the bathroom door because she has this weird obsession with toothpaste. And I don't want her to try and steal my toothpaste, even though she can't reach it anymore. But just in case, she has a weird weird thing about mint. I bought her mint, mint treats, didn't want them. Actual mint toothpaste, delicious. Let me steal it. When I brush my teeth, she has to smell my breath. It's weird. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you stopped. It's because I called you out. Um, you can also see her massive pile of toys over there. Uh, but yeah, I usually leave her in here after my lunch because she can just chill out under the fan and try and stay cool. So anyway, it's covered in dog hair. But look at what else I got. I need to install some more games on it. I'm trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> but I have a Steam Deck. There's so much hair in here. Um, but I got a Steam Deck because technically work paid for it, which is pretty cool. Um, I definitely has <laughs> so much dog hair on it, but there's definitely more games that I need to get for it because I've only installed a couple and you kind of have to like remap a lot of the controls for it. So I definitely need to play it more. If you have any game recommendations for the Steam Deck, please let me know because I really would like to play it more. But I got the one that came with like, I think it's like 500 something gigs of space. And it also came with the cute little carrying case because I thought that would be nice. I don't think I'm gonna travel with this anytime soon, like for the wedding trip later this year, but um, it's just nice to have. Oh, she just let out the biggest yawn. I need to also clean off the fingerprints on it. But I recently started playing my Switch again and I could not find my Pokemon let's go disc because when i moved i had them all in this cute little like mario question mark block and i cannot find it i have no idea where i put it i don't know if i accidentally left it at my mom's house i need to check next time i'm over there or if it's in like a random box um no idea so i decided to splurge and i bought the game again um, but i've been playing that i like restarted my whole game i haven't gotten super into it yet because I, I, I got it yesterday um, and then I've been playing the Suka game with like the fruit. I started playing that game again because I feel like it's just like really good for your brain. And so a lot of the times for my lunch, I'll just have a TV show going or a movie and just play on my Switch and just kind of vibe, you know. But we're going <sighs> to enjoy the rest of our lunch. And I probably won't see you all until I get off work. I have one more meeting today. And then, and I think that meeting's like right before I leave. So it's kind of nice having like a meeting at the very end of the day. Cause then like after the meeting, you're like, okay, bye. Have a great weekend. See you all Monday. <laughs> so I kind of like that. I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Ooh, I don't know if I said what soundboard, not sound bar this is. If I didn't earlier, I'll link it down below in case anyone does it. Also, super cute Piper up there. But it's the Bose sound, sound bar. It was $1.99 on sale on Amazon, and it had Amazon monthly payments for like 
forty dollars a month. I think a down payment of like fifty one and forty dollars. And so far, I'm really happy with the sound quality. Um, I can play the show, but I don't want to play too much because I don't want it to be spoilers. But I've been really happy with it. I don't know how well it's gonna sound on the camera. I'm gonna pause because I don't want him to say anything that's a spoiler. But I've been really happy with it so far. I'm excited to watch a movie on it this weekend. And now I just need to get a sound bar for the living room as well. I'll probably get the exact same one. Super easy to hook up. And um, I'm excited. I might actually order that on my lunch break really quickly because maybe it'll be here tomorrow and we can set it up. I had a DVD player set up there. I think I showed that last time. But I took the DVD player down. To put the sound bar up and I think I might move the DVD player into the living room because I have like the entertainment stand there I might I don't know I'm gonna figure something out um I'll have to figure out a spot for the sound bar too I will we'll figure stuff out it's fine I also have a PlayStation in there so technically I could use that as a DVD player but we'll figure it out I just want to be able to use my living room more um because I think it, it's nice to watch movies in there too because sometimes I don't always want to lay in my bed you know it's like sometimes I just want to sit up and watch a movie and I feel like you can't do that in your bed because you like have to hunt I like hunch over naturally if I don't have anything to lean against so yeah anyway Piper and I are gonna enjoy the rest of our lunch break and then we're gonna <laughs> I should hurt yours. do you want to tell them anything do you have anything you would like to add Piper no she does not not right now um but yeah i'm gonna enjoy the rest of the lunch Woohoo! hello it is currently 6 32 oh my food got picked up and we're finishing our makeup i did the face makeup i like the new the new um blush that i got i didn't want to show my full makeup routine because it's still pretty much the same so I thought I would just show what I've been doing eye makeup wise lately, but I ordered food. I have some more of that Cajun sausage and rice and stuff. However, I unfortunately have pretty bad acid reflux and one of the triggers is spicy food and another one is tomatoes. <laughs> and that recipe has both of those in there. And I ate it last night, and then I had it today, so I can, like, I, I do take acid reflux medicine now, um, and I've been taking it for months, and it does work, so I took an extra pill, but I still kind of feel it, so I ordered some teriyaki chicken and rice instead. But, so this is how I've been doing my eye makeup. So, I have this Sigma palette called the Ritzy. It's, like, nice gold brown palette and I take the colored nectar so it's like just a tiny bit darker than my skin tone so like you can see it but it's not like super obvious it's there but I've been doing like a much more like simple eye look lately and I'm kind of liking it and then sometimes I use the brown and the nocturnal color from there but if I want some darker shades, I get it out of the Bare Necessities palette by ColourPop. This palette's a little bit of a mess, but I take the black and the brown down there, or I'm gonna take that brown and that black, because I don't want the glitter. And this is literally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this new brush that I ordered today. So I'm gonna dip it in the brown, and then I dip it in the black, dust it off. I'm gonna have to get like real close to this, but I basically tap it at my lash line and kind of drag it a little bit very lightly. I don't think I'm going to tap it off this time. But I try and get as close to the wash line as I can. I also have, before I got this brush, I used this one by Sigma. This like little light one there. And I used this brush. But I saw a video where someone used this one to do basically eyeshadow as eyeliner. And I like the shape of this one, so I want to try it. But I think for this, I think this one will work a little bit better when I'm trying to get like, oops, I got some underneath when I'm trying to get closer to like the inner part of my eye. Okay, so we have this. The reason I've been doing this, one, I like the softer look of it as opposed to doing like actual eyeliner. And two, it's a lot easier to wash off. <laughs> 
So now I'm dipping it in the same brown and black, dusting it off. And this has like a perfect angle already to it. So I'm literally just going to stamp it right where I want it. And then just kind of connect it. I might use the this one. I really like this brush. Bottom lashes look pretty good. I feel like the other mascaras I've been using a lot of the time, it like gets on my eyelid or like gets underneath when I'm doing the bottom. And it did end a little bit here, but that's okay. But this is the final, final makeup look. And then I just put like a lip gloss on, but pretty happy with this. Um, my food should be here soon. <sighs> it is probably gonna be here in like 10 minutes. So I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was gonna originally do the Dyson Airwrap for my hair, but I don't know. I haven't done that Dyson Airwrap in a long time. I don't know what I'm feeling. I do need to wash my hair, but I'm washing it this weekend, so I didn't want to do it yesterday. Um, you know what? We might still do the Dyson Airwrap because it just looks so pretty. <laughs> I think we will. But I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and eat my food, I guess, when it gets here. And I will see you all at stream start time. All right, I finished curling my hair, which I've heard when you curl your hair, you should leave it and not touch it and like let it chill and cool off. And then you like run your fingers through it. So this kind of works out, but my food arrived. We got some Sarku Japan, um, but I got their chicken teriyaki and then I got some yum yum sauce to go with it. Cause there's not an option to have extra sauce of what they put on the chicken. So I thought maybe I'd get some yum yum sauce and see how that tasted. Um, but I'm going to eat this and watch more Orphan Black before stream. It's like 7.02, so uh, going to eat and then run my fingers through my hair. And then I will see you all right before we start stream. Woohoo! All right, we finished our food. I ate about half of it, almost half of it. And I'll probably eat the rest after stream. We also have a new YouTube light behind me. You can see it right there in the corner. So cute. Sent from YouTube hello <laughs> um but yeah we're just gonna set up for stream it is 7 27 p.m i'm definitely i'm on time so we're good <laughs> i am i have been having trouble with apex and i kind of thought it was the game itself or the servers but i think it might be my internet which i was kind of also maybe suspecting but I find if I repair the file, sometimes that fixes everything. So I'm just going to do that now, verify the integrity of the files. I also have the EA app updated as well, just in case. But let's put our lip product on. My hair, I always forget how nice my hair looks when I use the Dyson. But like, excuse me, I feel very pretty. <laughs> this is kind of my setup. I have uh, my Discord over here if you want to join it discord.gg slash veroicone and then we have our main monitor and then my secondary computer is running the stream um and it also has the same wallpaper so it's like a continuation so if i have both computers on you can't tell except for the fact that this also has a recycling bin and everything there but we're going to start stream and yeah i'm excited we're playing apex because i don't know what else to play <laughs> All right, we just finished stream, or it's still going. We're about to finish it. We've been streaming for six hours and 43 minutes. We are up 15 RP. <laughs> Better than minus, but say goodnight, chat. Um, but I hope you all have an amazing night. Thank you all so much for hanging out. We'll be live again on Monday at 7.30 p.m. EST-ish. Thanks for tweeting out, or thanks for the vlog command. Good night, GMT. Good night, Maven. Good night, everybody else that is lurking. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all Monday for more streaming shenanigans and more <sighs> Apex. <laughs> As you just saw, we just ended stream and it's currently 2.17 a.m. Um, usually on Friday nights, I kind of just stay up as late as I want. On Tomorrow, I do need to go to... I need to go to UPS to drop off some Amazon returns. So I need to package those tonight or in the morning. I did print the paper during my break today for like the label. So it should be easy to do the returns. And then 
Um, and then I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow. So tonight we're going to, I'm going to wash my face and the podcast I watch, the new episodes already live for tonight. So we're going to watch that and eat some of our leftovers and just kind of chill for the rest of the night. So that should be fun. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. All right. We are now in bed. I still need to wash my face and like brush my teeth and all that stuff, but I wanted to eat my food first. So we're enjoying our leftovers. We have a Miss Piper here who's yawning. Um, and we're going to watch the Do We Know Them podcast. Um, it's literally the only podcast that I watch. I really enjoy it. So we're going to watch that and oops, sorry. And just enjoy my food. And I need to meal plan for next week and figure out my grocery list. So I might show a little bit of that here and there, but I'm going to eat my food first. So it is now 3.18 a.m. I'm still watching the podcast episode. Um, the sleepy baby is over here being a sleepy baby. We played with that toy and now she is out. I did wash my face and brush my teeth and all that stuff. And right now I'm kind of just working on my shopping list for tomorrow because I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow, like I said. Um, I know for sure... Usually I like meal plan on my iPad, but I just don't feel like it. I'm kind of just winging it next week. But I'm getting a rotisserie chicken because tomorrow, after I'm done grocery shopping, I'm going to make chicken salad. I did that last Saturday. It was really good. And in my chicken salad, in case you're curious, I do chicken, obviously, because it's chicken salad. So I'll do like the rotisserie chicken for something easy or just like make my own chicken. Um, and then I add apples and grapes and pecans, but I have pecans from last week and then I just eat it with like Ritz crackers, but they have, this is through Publix. I just, I just digitally f go through the coupons and, and everything and like the ad for the week to figure out what I want to make, but they have a New York strip steak and I thought that would be nice for either dinner Saturday and just have the chicken salad for lunch and then finish it on Sunday or do the steak on Sunday for lunch, have a New York strip steak, um, just butter, garlic, you know, that's usually my vibe, a bunch of seasoning. Um, maybe make some, I'm, I had broccoli here, but I'm kind of broccoli out. <laughs> There was like one month where I did HelloFresh and pretty much every week my meal had broccoli in it. And ever since then, I haven't really been able to eat broccoli. But I think I'm going to do a salad because they have these like salad kits, buy one, get one free. And um, make some mashed potatoes because I have some baked potatoes. I have some baked potatoes that I need to... Um, I keep saying baked potatoes. I have potatoes that I need to cook. I don't know why I'm calling them baked potatoes. Um, they have Dave's Killer Bread, buy one, get one free, which I've never had, but I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to buy my regular bread, which is necessarily in a mini pack. She started scratching her face, and then she kind of just stopped. Pretty girl. <laughs> She's ready for bed. Um, and they have Parmesan, so I might one day next week do like a quick Alfredo or something. Um... They have the TGI Friday appetizers. I sometimes like to buy those every once in a while. I don't know if I'm going to get them or not um, for like a little movie night. They have these chips buy two, get two free. And like that just seems like a lot of chips. I don't think I'm going to get that. Um, but they had these popcorn and almonds. And then my favorite energy drink, Ghost Energy. Besides Alani New, this is pretty much my other favorite ones. So we're going to get a couple of those. Some laundry detergent. The I love the like Send Boosters. They have uh, broth, pasta sauce, pasta, and then I was going to get some honey because I am out. And then we have like some fruit down here. And then they have this chicken for $7.99 a pound, which is not a good deal at all. I don't know if I'm going to get that or not, but I'm still kind of figuring out what I want. They have public crumbled cheese. I kind of just added that. I thought that'd be good on a salad. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do for next week for meals. I'm kind of thinking I might keep things kind of simple. So we'll do like the chicken salad Saturday and then the steak um, for the weekend or whatever. And they'll have to make something for Sunday night dinner, which when I cook, whatever I cook for Sunday night dinner is usually my lunch and dinner Monday and then my lunch Tuesday. And then Tuesday's dinner is my lunch Wednesday and dinner Tuesday, uh, Wednesday 
and then lunch Thursday, and then Thursday I make dinner, and that carries on into Friday. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm not sure what I want to do. I kind of was thinking about making a shepherd's pie or like a cottage pie, but then I'd have to make more mashed potatoes. But I could make extra mashed potatoes on Saturday or whenever I make the steak and then just save the potatoes, save the leftover potatoes for later and then make, you know, the pie. But I don't know. I haven't figured out what I want to make. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here with the sleepy baby. Um, we're going to finish watching the podcast episode and just finish my meal list. And my battery is pretty low. It is currently on like a yellowy orange. I will say the battery for this camera, I mean, it lasted about all day today, which isn't bad. I don't know how much footage I have until I go to actually edit it. But um, I'm going to leave you with some thoughts that I meant to l do earlier when like, I looked cute. And I was all done up for stream, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> So I mentioned originally that like, you know, I want to vlog. It's fun. If the channel grows, it grows. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and kind of what I'm thinking about doing is setting myself on a schedule of vlogging every other week. So that's two videos a month. So, and obviously, you know, I'm just doing this for fun. And if there's ever a week where I can't vlog that week, then I just won't. Um, you know, I really enjoy doing it because I love the older vlogs that I have on like my main channel, Veroico, and like my gaming channel essentially now. And being able to like see, you know, just things that happened, you know, like 10 years, years ago, you know, and I really love that. Um, I wish I vlogged a lot more when like I first got Piper because that would be really cool. But I do have that video where like I introduced her and was like, oh, I got a puppy. So I love having that. And then I have like the Vlogmas that I did that first year with her. And I'm very thankful for that. There's definitely a lot of like really cute little baby Piper in there. And now she's three, which is just wild. But I, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. And then like one week it'll be, she's starting to fall asleep. I feel like I keep waking her up. I'm so sorry, Piper. I'm almost done talking. I promise. <laughs> I mean, she sleeps when I talk all the time. I think she just doesn't want to fall asleep because she thinks something's happening. I don't know. But, you know, like one week will be like a vlog on a Friday. So like, you know, a day in the life working that da, da, da. another one might be like a weekend or like um, we have Labor Day off. So I thought maybe about doing like a three day weekend vlog. I don't know. <sighs> and then I really want to do like a week in the life, um, you know, just kind of come up with ideas and you know maybe I'll go a month, month or two with not vlogging again because I get in my head about it um because you know the reason I wasn't vlogging is I was like oh I need to clean the house the house needs to look clean you know my house doesn't look aesthetic so at least it needs to look clean um which like who, who actually cares no one actually cares and then it was like oh my vlogs are so boring like no one's gonna watch them and then it's like but people have told me that they enjoy them and I enjoy them and even if I had zero subscribers if I enjoy doing it I'm gonna do it you know um and I'm trying to remind myself that but it's so hard sometimes not to get like stuck in your own head you know what I mean so yeah but, you know, my vlogs are going to be boring. It's going to be a lot of the same stuff. It's going to be a lot of, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I have two meetings today. Oh, I'm off work. I got ready for stream. Let's play video games. Oh, I'm off stream. Let's meal plan. Let's watch our podcast because that's on Mondays and Fridays. Let's play with Piper. Let's do this. Let's do that. Like a lot of it's going to be very repetitive and that is my life and I'm very happy with the life that I have. I'm very proud of myself for the job that I have and the life that I've created for myself and my dog and you know if it's boring to some people then that's totally fine. I'm 30 you know I'm 38 years old I don't want to be going out all the time I I'm so content just being at home and chilling and I think some of the vlogs will be that it'll be like a weekend in my life and like growing grocery shopping and Sunday reset deep cleaning the house um or just being lazy and just chilling in bed with my dog watching a movie because sometimes that's just what I want to do and yeah so that's <laughs> 
my thoughts. And, you know, I want to do like a office tour or like office, yeah, I guess office tour, like show my work office and, you know, like my work from home setup and everything. And, you know, we'll see. But I definitely have a lot of vlog ideas planned. It's just a matter of actually doing it. And I do want to like play around with it more and like show more of my life. Um, obviously, I'm never going to show what I do for work. I mean, I, y'all can know I work at Discord. I don't care, but I'm not going to like vlog while I'm actually working. I think she saw something. She might have like little pieces of bone. That I have basically like her blanket is this white blanket on the bed because one, I can bleach it if I really need to. Um, two, it was also like 20 bucks. So I could just buy a new one if it really gets bad because I'd rather not bleach it because she does chew bones on it sometimes and it gets a little messy. What are you doing? What do you see? I don't see anything there. So she must, there could be a bone underneath and she smells it. Anyway, so that was my little spiel <laughs> that I meant to give earlier and I would show my face, but I'm very tired and I don't want to. And, you know, we're just going to kind of come up with our ideas and plan things out and just live our life. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think the next vlog I want to vlog on like a Monday or a Wednesday where I don't have. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I'm yawning where I don't have like where I. I have like a set schedule for bed or I've done a vlog on a Thursday before. So maybe we'll do like a Tuesday or like a Sunday or, you know, I just really want to be creative with it and have fun. And even if sometimes the vlogs are really short, um, I, like I said, I do want to do a week in the life, but I feel like my days are pretty repetitive. So I don't know, but you know, I also have the wedding coming up in October and then next year we'll be going to California, hopefully at least twice for work. I'm hoping, um, to see everybody because I still haven't met any of my coworkers in person. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I have no idea when I'm going next year. We'll figure that out next year. <laughs> and then my family talked about maybe doing a trip next year too, but I don't know if I'm going to go. Um, we'll see. Depends on what it is. But I also want to buy a house. You know, I want to vlog that experience and, you know, looking at houses and maybe eventually buying one and then moving in and you know, maybe getting another dog, maybe getting a cat, maybe getting a fish. I don't know. Like I want to share these experiences, even if they are repetitive and maybe a little boring. And I think that's okay because like I said, I'm very happy with my very boring life. <laughs> uh, I'm very content with it. I think a lot of people would enjoy it and I enjoy it. So that's why I want to share it. And if it's repetitive, you don't have to watch it. It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings, but Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I promise I will try and be more consistent with vlogging. I am looking and getting like an actual vlog camera instead of the DJI Pocket 3, which actually I do adore this camera, but I do kind of want like a camera camera. Um, so we'll look, I'm still looking into that. Um, and yeah, I will catch you all later. I guess you heard something. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will hopefully put out two vlogs a month. We shall see. <laughs> and I will see you all next time. Bye.